For what reason we have commenced the war, I will tell you. We have made a treaty with the government, and beg for what we do get, and can't get that till our children are dying of hunger. Unless we can crush this rising, the state is ruined. And if I have the means and can catch them, I will sweep them with the broom of death. The Sioux Indians of Minnesota must be exterminated or driven forever beyond the borders of the state. Who is guilty of the causes which desolated our border? The big picture blame belongs to the Indian system. They negotiated treaties with the tribes and established annuity funds in Washington. The agent, the traders, claimants could all tap that money and there was so much money to be made. But the question of money did not play a role in this terrible drama is downright ridiculous. The frauds and abuses of the government and the agents cause all of the Indian War. At whose door is the blood of these innocent victims? I believe that God will hold the nation guilty. Why did Little Crow get blamed for the 1862 Minnesota War? He took a position to fight for what the government promised us, even though it was a losing proposition. The momentum built up, and it was centering on Little Crow. And these forces that were overwhelming were giving you no choice. Victors in wars always write the histories, because these very ambitious white men like Galbraith and Sibley end up, in effect, writing that history, Then Little Crow had no chance to write his own. And that's unfortunate because he has a story to be told.